On a cold December night, they boarded three ships in the Boston Harbor. By morning, they dumped enough tea to make 100 cups for every soul in Massachusetts. Why were they so angry? The British Crown had given the world's biggest corporation, the near bankrupt East India Company, a giant gift, an effective monopoly on importing tea. Oh, I'm a man of business, sir. But believe me, my real satisfaction is in the utter defeat of these radical demagogues. The colonists saw their very livelihoods threatened, so they took action. Two years later, these brave Americans declared independence from the crown and the monopolistic corporations that relied on it. Over 200 years later, we have a new Tea Party, and they're angry too. We all should be angry that we're losing the heart and soul of our democracy. The trouble is, it's hard to get our arms around what's gone wrong. Why the richest 1% control as much wealth as the bottom 90? Why we're moving backwards to what the patriots rebelled against? It's what I call privately held government, with thousands of Washington lobbyists, mostly working for corporations, two dozen of them for every lawmaker that you and I elect. But we can break the hold of corporate influence over our democracy. And that's why I'm so fired up about the growing coffee party movement. All right, they're calling it the coffee party. Organizers say this meeting in Washington today was one of hundreds across the country. And the dialogue really um, nationwide in a lot of ways has become so bad that you can't sit down with your Republican friends or your Democratic friends or your independent friends and really have that conversation. Citizen solutions are what my new book, Getting a Grip, is all about. It's about people, all walks of life, every part of the country, coming together like they are in the coffee party and coming up with really practical solutions to our biggest problems. But for them to take off, we've got to get money out of politics. And did you know that right now, in Congress is a bipartisan bill that would go a long way to removing corporate money in campaigns. It's called the Fair Elections Now Act, and you can find out more about it right here. Democracy is not what we have, it's what we do. Getting a Grip 2, the new book by Francis Moore LaPay.